This is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast, where CEOs, C-suite executives, and senior leaders share their advice. It's six questions in nine minutes because the best leaders know how to share their ideas concisely and quickly. Let's jump right in. Question number one. In a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Katie Matting, and I'm VP of product at a Berlin-based marketing company called Adjust. How long have you been there? I've been there for six years, actually. Oh, wow. That's a bit unusual these days. You hear of a lot shorter timelines. Um, so you've had an opportunity to kind of be with the company for a little while. Have you always been in this position or have you kind of moved around a little bit in the organization? I've definitely moved around. Um, I actually started off in account management. I then moved into integration engineering, then into product about three years ago. So we've kind of done the 360 degree of different jobs here, but I love the company, love the startup culture, and love kind of wearing many different hats. Well, I love that because it's going to make your insights even more, um, you know, unique from the perspective of thinking about it through the different lenses and the different hats that you've won, worn over the time period. Um, so I'll be excited to hear your thoughts about people and communication and teams. Question two, what's the best thing about leading people from your perspective? So my favorite part of this is actually figuring out what people's native geniuses. Um, and it's a concept that comes from the book called Multipliers by Liz Wiseman. Um, but basically, it's this idea that every person has something that is unique to them, that actually comes really naturally to them, uh, but is pretty difficult for others. So once you can kind of identify these traits and then push people to really harness that native genius, um, it really kind of allows you to have what I call this kind of interdepartment orchestra, right? Where people just really hone in on what they're amazing at. That would be amazing, right? To have a, an entire team where each person in the team gets to do the things that they excel at. How, like, I mean, from an efficiency optimization, but then just a fun perspective, it would have to have a pretty big input, impact on all those things, yes? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I often hear from other leaders that business would be great if it weren't for that pesky people part. I'm curious, what are your thoughts about that? Oh yeah, the age old <laughs> question. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, at Adjust, we have something that I like to call a human API. Um, mm. So basically it's this idea that every single person has their own language in which you can effectively communicate with them, right? Their own API. And basically this tells you how to get them to drive themselves further, what excites them, what stagnates them, what they like, what they dislike. Um, and so I actually have all of my managers from day one work with their teams to establish every single person's human API. Um, Kind of sounds a little weird, but ultimately what it does is establish kind of those clear lines of communication from the get-go. That way people can kind of have these guidelines so they can much more effectively and productively communicate with each other. That's super cool. Um, I definitely want to hear more at some point about maybe the process around how do you actually uncover a, a human's API. Um, I'm sure you got some questions that you ask in a process that you follow to, to make sure that you do that. So. Um, we'll have to have you back on to get that that intel. What Sounds other, good. Yeah. What other successful business leaders like yourself should be on the podcast, right? Like who else should we be paying attention to out there in the marketplace? Yeah. So um, the first person I want to recommend is Marlene Bailey. Um, she's actually a close friend of mine, and she's VP of Operations and Strategy for a company she started called Bailey Brand Management. Um, just killer kind of badass boss lady. Um, another one I have is Katrina Petrakova. Um, she works for Rocket Internet. She's actually based out of Berlin as well. And um, just, I've seen her career just completely progress in so many different directions. And she now manages, I think, over 70 people. So kind of a lot going on there. Um, and then the third person that I thought of actually for this was Caitlin Quinn. Um, she's a director at Price Waterhouse. And in general, she's just one of those people where, you know, you meet her and within five minutes, you've learned something that you had nothing, uh, no idea about, right? Written white papers, the whole gamut. Wow. 
All right, I'm excited to go out and, and, and source these folks and hear what they're, what they're up to. It sounds like they'd have a lot of great stuff to share. Thank you so much for that. Um, yeah. What piece of advice about communication would you give to other leaders? Yeah, I, I had to think a little bit about this because especially when it comes to communication, that's always the hardest thing. Um, and so what I would say about that is being a leader uh, really doesn't mean that you always have to have the solution. And I think that sometimes you kind of mistake that of, oh, I've got to have the answers. And actually, it's more than often quite the opposite. So regarding communication, really to be a great leader, it requires you to push others to find the solutions. But in order to do that, you've got to communicate in a way that makes them feel confident that they can, that they can challenge you and that they can grow and move forward and find solutions themselves. So that would be my biggest piece of advice. I love that. Any, any tips on how to help somebody uncover their own internal confidence or you know, things that would help them to see their skills from within? Probably back to the human API asking, exercise. Asking, <laughs> yeah, it's actually asking a ton of questions. It's like Spanish Inquisition style. Um, mm -hmm. So just continuing to push back and say, "All right, well, why do you feel that way? Well, why mm -hmm. do you think this?" And eventually, they'll end up finding out solutions or finding things they hadn't thought of originally that they came up with themselves. Um, and so it's just kind of continuously. Um, keeping yourself from answering something and always pushing it back on your employees to figure it out themselves. And, and I think that's a critical piece because again, I think, you know, when we tell them, right, it just, it's your idea. But when they say it and they, it's their idea, well, now all of a sudden it's something that is meaningful and actionable, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So it makes such a huge difference to, I think, sustainability over a long period of time. Right. Yeah, I within. totally agree. So, you know, the, my magic question, I love asking this question. Tell us about your favorite boss or teacher. Who's really influenced you? Yeah. So uh, for this, I would have to say my current boss, who's CTO at Adjust, his name is Paul Mueller. And uh, it's funny because everyone that has ever spoken with him remembers him and knows him for the rest of their lives. A very, very eclectic type of human. Um, but the reason that I believe he is the strongest boss I've ever had and really a mentor for me um, is that he somehow continues to push me to do things that I never would have thought were possible. Um, and by the time I've actually reached or accomplished these kind of new achievements, I haven't even realized that I've stepped outside of my comfort zone. So he has this way of storytelling and overall these communication skills that allow you to really try out new things, to challenge yourself, um, and ultimately to be able to fail and to feel comfortable in doing so. What do they say? Fail fast, fail forward, fail fast, right? I mean, um, I yeah. love the Thomas Edison quote where he talks about, you know, um, you know, 2000 tries to make a light bulb. You know, he's like, I found 2000 ways not to do it. So it was right. I mean, the failures got him there that much faster. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I love this. I think, you know, you and I could probably geek out on these conversations for, for hours and hours. But alas, our time has come to an end. <laughs> so I wanted to thank you so much for, for being on the show. How can people find you? Um, on LinkedIn, Katie Matting um, is the best way to reach me. How do you spell it? With the T's or D's? You have Hutcherson up on the screen. Okay. So. Oh, do I? Um, yeah, that was my maiden name. Um, ah, so <laughs> We won't tell the hubby. <laughs> so it's Katie, K-A-T-I-E, uh, Matting, M-A-T-D-I-N-G. Perfect. Well, good. Well, I know people are going to want to go introduce themselves and meet you. Um, and this is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast. For more ideas and insights, please do go check us out at www.concilioteam.com. We look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care. <laughs>